Get on the bed. What are you doing get on in the my bed. house? Put that down. Get out of my Put house. Put that down. Get out. Get down. Get out. Hi, my name is Matt Schneider, the owner of the Ford Movement Training Center. Today, I got the opportunity to experience the striking distance. My background's in law enforcement. I've been in law enforcement for about 13 years, and I've had a lot of experiences with various use of force scenarios. And in an effort to uh, test the striking distance and how it work in a live situation, we agreed to um, a scenario where essentially it was a home invasion where the homeowner came home, found a bad guy in the bathroom, and had the striking distance at her disposal. Going into it, I knew that I was going to take a three to five second exposure. Although what, uh, what actually happened was scenario started to play out. Kristen introduced the uh, striking distance and fired off a couple warning shots at me, which totally overrode what I knew I was supposed to do based on what we had talked about. And instead of actually initially approaching Kristen like I was supposed to, I took a few steps towards the door, which was my brain overriding my body and saying, that's not good, get away from it. But knowing that the goal was to get the exposure, uh, I readdressed uh, Kristen, actually closed the distance on her and attacked her on the bed and was exposed with the side probes of the striking distance initially until Kristen was able to create distance based on that exposure, in which time she followed up with a uh, probably only about a second and a half, maybe maybe a second and a half of exposure with the front of the striking distance, and that's all I could handle. That, it, that literally kind of dropped me to my, to my knees, so um, I had to get that off of me as quickly as possible. Hi, my name's Kristen. I'm with Forward Movement Training, and I agreed to role play this scenario along with Matt. I just want to reiterate the importance of actually using the tools and practicing with them because anybody can buy a tool and just set it on their nightstand, but when you're under stress, you forget how to use it. So it's very important that you practice with those tools and you know how they work so that you're not caught in a situation where it goes out the window. So the reason why I agreed to have this exposure done is because I truly believe in the mission of damsel in defense. So when Bethany and Mindy asked if I would take the, the, the exposure, I was happy to do so. I, I don't know that I would readily volunteer for it again, but it's a good product and um, the damsel line is, is awesome.